In this video, we're going to take a look at setting values for our input types or our input fields. Let's start off by creating our form with the action attribute and the method, which will be get. Our field set and our legend. Right. So now we'll create an input of just type text and we'll give that a name and we'll give that a name of username and close it just like that. As you may know, we can pass in a placeholder. So we'll have some grayed out text rendered in the input by default when the page loads. So let's just take a look at what the placeholder does and how it looks in the input. And I'll put a input of type submit. And we'll just leave the standard default submit text rendered on the button. So we'll go ahead and save this and check it out in the browser. As you can see, we have some grayed out text displayed in the input. So if I click submit, there's actually no data inside that input field. That is only a placeholder. So as you can see, when I click submit, username equals nothing. It's just empty. So let's check out what happens if we change this to a value. Save this and take another look in the browser. Now we actually have some text that we can actually highlight and edit in this text field. So now what happens when I click submit is the actual text that is in there, i.e. the value of that text input, is now actually submitted. So that's basically the difference between the value and the placeholder attribute of forms. So I hope you've learned a little bit about the difference between the placeholder attribute and the value attribute in HTML.